Shervante Davis is stepping back into the ring after wiping the floor with Frank Martin. We all saw how that one went. Tank Davis caught Martin with a scary left hook that put him to sleep. Oh, left up for Johnny. But hey, that's not the end of what we'll see from Tank this year. Yep, this knockout artist has another fight coming this December. But this time, it won't be a cakewalk for Tank Davis. He's up against none other than Teofimo Lopez. Yeah, you heard it right. Gervonta Tank Davis versus Teofimo The Takeover. Lopez, two absolute monsters ready to clash in what's gearing up to be one of the most explosive fights we've ever witnessed. You already know, when these two step into the ring, it's going to be pure fireworks. There's a lot to discuss with this one. This fight has it all the drama, the hype, the beef. So without ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. So first up, how did we even get to this point? These two have been circling each other for a hot minute, with both of them trading shots, verbally at least, across social media and interviews. But here's the thing, Tank and Teofimo aren't just two dudes looking for a payday. Nah, this is way deeper than that. He's been catered more than I've been and pampered more than I've ever been. Boxing fans have talked about you and Ryan for a long, long time. I think more me and Tank will be than Ryan. I like facing the guys that beat the guy rather than the guy that lost to the guy. Ryan just kept literally lunging in and throwing the hooks. I mean, that was an easy read for Tank. I think that with myself and Tank, oh, hell yeah, it's explosive but I'm really gonna outclass him. Talks about mind games and all that stuff, but this mind that I have here was just different. And he showed me that he doesn't really quite believe in himself. Because if a man believes in himself and his ability, he takes a fight against Vasily Lomachenko in 2016, 2017. Gervonta Tank Davis has been on a rampage, taking out dudes left and right. With 30 fights, 30 wins, and 28 knockouts, this man is out here laying waste to everyone. Every time you watch Tank, you know someone's about to get slept. But while he's been collecting belts, there's been that looming question. What happens when he faces a guy who can match his speed, power, and most importantly, his hunger? Keyshawn Davis was one of the first to point this out. Tank and Tio have the same fighting style so what happens when these two go head-to-head -head in a heated pro bout? Guess we'll find that out in December. Well, one thing I'll tell you is that someone's getting knocked out. It's only a matter of who. Statistically, they're the same fighter. The makeup is a little different, the size is a little different, but their boxing style, the way that they fight, is the exact same. Teofimo is no stranger to upsets. I mean, this guy dethroned Vasily Lomachenko, the man most people considered untouchable. Lopez didn't just win, he dominated Loma in those early rounds. And let's be real, people still don't give him enough credit for that performance. Even though he hit a rough patch losing to George Combosos, Teofimo bounced back strong at 140, showing that he's still very much in his prime and ready for war. Come June, June 5th, all these 135 pound, pound guys in my division, they, they're quiet. They don't want to fight Teofimo again because of what he just did. And then I'm just going to keep putting it on each and every time. But we're going to make those fights happen too. But right now, just my main focus is George Cambosos. Now we've got Davis and Lopez, both at the top of their game, ready to settle the score in what could easily be the fight of the year. Now, let's dive into how these two match up. First, we've got Gervonta Davis. This dude's power is freakish. Like, no joke. You could be winning every round, and all it takes is one shot from Tank, and it's lights out. He's a southpaw, explosive, with this insane ability to close the distance and land those signature uppercuts and hooks. And don't sleep on his ring IQ either. People always talk about his power, but Tank's timing and footwork are next level. He knows how to set traps and capitalize when his opponents make mistakes. But Teofimo Lopez? This guy's no slouch. Teo's known for his speed and counter-punching, and if you've seen his fights, you know how slick this guy is. He can bait you in, make you miss, and then fire back with these wicked combinations that do some serious damage. And don't forget, 
He's got knockout power, too. Just ask Richard Kami about that right hand. What makes this fight even crazier is that it's not the first time these two have faced off in the ring. Yep, Gervonta Davis and Teofimo Lopez have sparred before, and what went down might shock you. Teo actually had the upper hand, walking Tank down and pushing him on the back foot. While Davis was backing up, Teo was dishing out some serious shots. That sparring session showed just how real this rivalry is. <laughs> This fight's gonna be way tighter than most expect, especially with Teofimo Lopez now training alongside the legend himself, Canelo Alvarez. Yep, you heard right. The Mexican superstar is in Teo's corner, helping him prep for this showdown. Having Canelo in your camp is a serious game changer, and it's exactly the kind of boost Teo needs to give him the edge in a fight this big. So, what's really on the line here? First off, legacy. This fight is gonna cement one of these guys as the new face of the sport. Gervonta is already a huge star, but beating Teofimo would take his name to the next level. We're talking about Floyd Mayweather type levels of stardom. For Teofimo, this is redemption. After losing to Cambosos, a lot of people started doubting him. Some were saying he was a hype job, but if he takes out Tank, all of that talk goes out the window. Teofimo becomes the man again, and his stock will skyrocket. Then there's the impact on the divisions. With Tank holding titles at lightweight and moving up to 140, and Teo having already established himself at junior welterweight, this fight could have ripple effects across two divisions. The winner might not just be a champ in one weight class, but could potentially rule both 135 and 140. Think about that. Leonard Ellerbay is putting it all on the line, saying Tank Davis is taking that W against Teofimo Lopez, no question. He's been repping Tank since day one and believes no one can touch him. Sure, Teofimo's a beast, but Ellerbay's convinced Tank's power, speed, and fight smarts are just on another level. So, I mean, is that not, does that fight not no, make no, sense? No, no, he's a good, Teofimo on, on some real shit, he's a good fighter. He can't fuck with Tank, though. Can't Can we tank. see it? You can't fuck with Tank. <laughs> what, what, what Ain't nobody fucking with Tank right now. Nobody. Nobody fucking with Tank right now. No. Tank is that dude. Yeah. Period. Period. You have to put your Period. There you go. But hey, you can't count out Teofimo just yet. There's a reason why he's been calling out Tank for a while now. Lopez knows what's at stake, and he's ready for this challenge. You don't care. Look you, at our sizes. You don't care about rehydration then, like rehydration clauses. And when you're the best, you don't care about any of that. You don't care about any of that. Do you knock people for doing that? No, that just lets me know they're intimidated. It's intimidation. It's a psych on their own mind. You think so? Because I, I think, know, like, so Tink I'm a fighter. Put, but Tank put Ryan under rehydration. I don't know if Tank, I can't say Tank was like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, son. You got real fighters and then you got bitch fighters. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.